Someone has deep-seated energy when it comes to you. This is someone who intends to destroy something or destroy your peace in some type of way. I feel this energy believes they are getting over on you or getting over on others by saying a lot of harsh things about you. This energy is going through a lot because of a feeling of rejection or the fact that you're no longer compromising. This energy is trying to set you up to fail. This energy is trying to set you up to fail when it comes to your emotions. This energy is very inconsistent, overbearing, and all about self. I feel this is someone who has stabbed you in the back and they could be laying something on thick. I feel this energy is trying to set you up to fail, trying to play the nice guy, but this energy is being very cryptic about their mouth full of lies. I feel like this energy is being cryptic about their mouth full of lies or their mob-like mentality. This energy is coming out as an imposter, someone who is baiting you or a bait and switch situation that is clearly going nowhere. But I feel this energy is so full of their own insecurities. This is why they have this mob-like mentality. Someone doesn't want the focus to be put on the troubles that they bring or even the chaos. So they are oversharing talking to others about you, but I feel it's due to a mouthful of lies. Someone wants others to also attack you or be in a sense of trying to call you out on something. Someone wants you to be in a position of defending yourself or defending your position. This is why they're oversharing and being someone they know they're not. For some of you, you feel like they're just showing their true colors because you don't need them anymore. So this energy is in a place of starving for attention because they have their heart on their sleeve. I feel this energy could be laying it on fate because they want others to believe their mouth full of lies because you're unwilling to share or compromise. I feel whatever you've done or whatever you're doing definitely needs a round of applause because this energy has no gratitude. This energy is not self-aware and they're trying to publicly embarrass you. Someone is skating on thin ice trying to keep this grudge against you. They still don't see a truth, but as I said before, you have to be the bigger person within this situation where someone is starving for attention. But I feel this energy could be coming towards a very dark place when it comes to learning something a hard way. I feel this energy is starving for attention, oversharing about you, and hoping that others believe their lies. But as I said before, Whatever they're trying to do is simply going nowhere. Let's get some more energy here. Let's hear one of the messages here. One of the messages here for the collective energies. Someone's definitely trying to affect you with these mouthful of lies. This energy is trying to also distract others, wanting you to feel incapable of defending yourself. This energy is hoping that others don't see a truth. For many of you, this is someone who definitely have the lights on, but no one's home. This energy just doesn't get it. They don't understand, and I feel in many ways they don't want to. This is why they are laying it on thick, aiding and abetting lies, not ever really telling the truth, hoping that others will be somewhat distorted when it comes to you. This energy is distorting the truth, sugarcoating the facts, and being very dismissive when it comes to you. I feel this energy was trying to string something along with their childish behaviors, their immature actions, because they are easily bothered by you. This is someone who is easily bothered by the separation, someone thinking it shouldn't have gone this way, someone thought that you were going to chase this connection, but I feel you just ended up leveling up, finding yourself. Trust in your intuition. For many of you, you are spiritually guided or spiritually protected within this situation where someone else is caught out there. Caught in a big mess, a mess that they created, but also feel there's lessons to be learned. I feel this energy is easily distracted, wasting time, trying to sidetrack you. But I feel it's going nowhere because it's going to crash and burn. And trust me, karma's a bitch. This is someone who completely did some type of 180 on you. They changed or someone flipped a script and showed you their true ways. As I sense in so many ways, the cat is out of the bag and this energy is not able to confuse you 
or manipulate a situation any longer. This energy no longer has access, and this is why they're keeping a grudge. This energy has a lot of resentment towards you, trying to publicly embarrass you because they're skating on thin ice and they're wearing their heart on their sleeve. Someone wants your attention and they just don't want to admit it, so they're trying to cause trouble for you. This energy wants to cause trouble because they feel like you're being unbothered is bothering them. They can't string this along and this is why they're sugarcoating the facts with this mob-like mentality. This energy you really didn't think that you were going to move on or move forward from a situation. And this is what's humbling them, distracting them, wanting to cause misery for you by telling lies, projecting their energy, or just being rude, lawless with you. But as I said before, the lights are on and no one's home and this energy is trying to set you up to fail, not realizing how protected you truly are. I feel in so many ways this energy has already given into weaknesses and addictions. This is why things have drastically changed with this energy. Some more energy here. Hmm. Trying to set you up to fail this possibly backfire for someone because they are angry. Very stubborn energy here who is superficial. I feel like this energy is very surface level surface level and shallow this energy is empty inside and this is why they're angry not just with you but with self this energy feels like they don't measure up something is missing when it comes to this energy because they're rebellious and non-committal this energy is neurotic argumentative this energy is never truly satisfied and another reason why they're always trying to pick at you i feel like this energy is in a state of worry this is why they're trying to cause some type of mishap. Someone wants you to come running back. And I feel this energy is still sitting in some very non-committal ways. This energy is also being vague. I feel like this energy had a lot of hurtful words for you. Hmm. Possibly even actions. This energy has been very rude and disrespectful. And I sense it was on purpose. This energy was trying to get a reaction out of you. It's this narrow-minded energy here of someone who is very neurotic, unstable, unbalanced, and rebellious, giving zero fucks about anyone else but self. I feel like this energy is narrow-minded and still trying to justify their behaviors. This energy is trying to justify their behaviors by excusing their actions well, because they're unstable. For many of you, you may see this energy as a deadbeat or a parasite, some type of leech who is numbing the pain, detaching from others just to hide their narcissistic ways. This energy feels entitled to you or something that is hmm, connected to you, and they're also in their pride about it. This is someone who is giving you the cold shoulder because they believe they're superior. This is very egotistical energy who has their own fears. This is why they project so much hate for others. I feel they dread something, dread growing up or being more responsible. And this is why they're lost in some very dark ways. For many of you, this energy could be very delusional, heartless energy of someone who's very harsh or brutal when it comes to affairs of the heart. This is why they feel comfortable with talking about you, even though they know they're lying. This is someone who is very dramatic, I feel like this energy is very dramatic because they are living in a very artificial world. This is an unreal state of mind where this energy is exaggerating something because of their pride. I feel like this energy has been very dismissive and abusive towards you, trying to manipulate a situation. This energy believed that they could pull the strings, belittle you, disrespect the connection by avoiding something, rejecting something. This energy is very judgmental, closed off, and self-centered. I feel like this energy is stuck in a very egotistical place where they are emotionally unavailable and only thinking of self. For some of you, this energy is in fear of losing something, and they're also very jealous of you. I feel this jealousy is stemming from the fact that you were able to brush something off or do something very unapologetically. As I said before, whatever this per person has taken you through, they didn't succeed. It went nowhere. I feel like this energy is wanting to disturb your peace in some type of way. This is why they are oversharing, but I feel there will only be a shallow victory. Let's get some more energy here. 
Holy Spirit, what are the messages here? What are the messages here for the collective energies? Wow. This is a very self-loathing energy who is drowning in their own mess. Their heartless ways are starting to catch up with them. And this energy is trying to figure out things about you. Someone is trying to test you in some way. Wanting to, you to be emotionally vacant. Distant. Someone is wanting to make you useless or incompatible with someone else. Someone is trying to destroy your peace and destroy anything that could come your way. But as I said before, this energy has no truth, no value. And they never suspected you would move on with such grace. I feel like this energy didn't see something coming when it comes to you moving on. This is why you need a round of applause for how you dealt with this situation. You definitely have to be the bigger person. I feel like this energy was trying to destroy your peace because of their own guilt, their own pain, their own lawless ways. I sense these lawless ways brought on some type of um, ridicule. Someone was trying to be sarcastic when it comes to you, but I feel the irony is something backfired on them. I feel like this energy was trying to put you in a space where you couldn't see a truth or move on from this, but I feel this is all stemming from their childish ways or the fact that they're very rebellious when it comes to tradition. I feel there's no trust. You don't trust this energy, and they pretend like they, their harsh ways of treating others is a way of putting out their ambitions. I feel like this energy pretends to be ambitious, but I feel they just have no limits. This energy has no limits when it comes to tradition, rooted values, or customs. This energy has a very fixed mindset. I feel like this energy doesn't want to be vulnerable. This is why they're oversharing and trying to disturb your peace in some type of way because of their own insecurities. I feel like this energy is always attempting to use you as a scapegoat. A reason they shouldn't change someone is trying to place the blame on you so what i'm getting here this is someone who wants you to feel bad this energy wants you to feel bad for speaking up or walking away from a situation as it seems they want you to react to their lies and even their absence this energy tried to trigger you i feel like this energy tried to trigger you to react so that your actions or words could prove the lies they told about you. Someone wants you to react just to keep from admitting they're the problem. Wow. I feel like in some type of way, this energy is desperate to prove you're the problem and they're not. And also try to preserve their status or their ego, which isn't much. This energy is very insecure, very vulnerable when it comes to judgment. And they're trying not for others to see their spiteful ways. This energy is coming out as a liar who is very thoughtless, insecure, inconsistent, and inconsiderate. This energy has a lot of unhealthy habits that will only lead them to a dark space. But I feel this energy is so comfortable in their darkness, they don't see the pain that they have caused. In some ways, they don't even care. They just let you slip right out of their fingers because they fail to be logical or rational about a situation. I feel this energy isn't rational about their emotions. They are very cruel when they want to be. And this energy is coming out as heartless, wanting to affect you emotionally. Someone wants you to overthink on a situation. Someone wants you to be stuck, irrational, chaotic, because of their sneaky ways or the fact that they can be very devious. I feel their deceitful ways have also caused you not to trust them. But I feel in so many ways, they will be humbled. They will be humbled by their actions. I feel their sarcasm doesn't work. I feel like a lot of people are seeing through their lies, seeing through their hate. But they're sticking to the plan. This energy is still trying to justify and excuse their behaviors. I feel like this energy wants to affect you emotionally because they're deeply affected mentally and financially but in so many ways this energy just doesn't care i feel like you didn't cause this issue with their their hate or their rage they were always like this you're just seeing it firsthand for some of you this energy doesn't want to surrender to the fact that they have a lot of extreme fears hatreds towards others and even you but i feel this energy was blind to a truth that they're about to find out 
in the worst way. I feel like this is someone who believes they've gotten away with something. This energy feels like they got away with their trail of lies, yet I sense they never imagined you would grow and manifest in spite of them. I feel like you were able to manifest in spite of their hate and betrayal, as it seems you are refusing to allow anything or anyone to break or shake your peace. I feel like this energy never knew you at all, which is why they're shocked. It's why they're shocked and confused that you're making moves silently or unapologetically, which wasn't the plan. They wanted to affect you heavily here. This energy wanted to heavily affect you or annoy you. They wanted you to be in a place where you had no peace. Let's get some more energy here. So someone is definitely trying to justify their actions. They want to send a message. But I feel you are divinely guided. I feel like this energy misses you in a lot of ways. This is why they won't let up on the hate that they are trying to cause. I feel something has put you in a position to be separate from this energy. This energy is coming out as someone who is trying to cause some type of damage, some type of war with their actions. I feel like this energy didn't realize you were divinely guided, divinely protected. But they're about to find out through divine intervention. Someone didn't see this coming. Someone didn't see that you were going to win in the end. That was always your position. Now they're seeing it to be true. I feel like this energy wants to come out with some nice guy energy so that you could put your guard down, but I feel you're not falling for that. Not this time. I feel like this energy is anxiously awaiting. Anxiously awaiting for some type of facts or truth about you. This energy wants to spread some type of lies and even facts. This energy is coming out as the fool. This is someone who wants you to be overly emotional, wanting you to have an overflow of emotions about what they're doing or saying, wanting you to be in defense of self, wanting you to be stuck in some type of loop. But I feel that is not the case. Someone wanted you to be stuck in a loop of unfounded fears, wanting you to be broken, guarded through their betrayals. I feel in many ways this is a battle of the wits where someone is definitely a very foolish energy. This energy is coming out as a player who's about to get played by their own games. This energy is very foolish and in so many ways playing a losing battle. You're coming out as the mysterious one. And since you're coming out as the mysterious one because you are moving in silence and unbothered by someone's petty behaviors, I feel you were supposed to move on regardless. Hmm. A breakthrough, a new perspective. I feel you have had a breakthrough and a new perspective when it comes to old wounds or just cutting the cord, hmm. setting boundaries from something that was very toxic. I feel you had to make the choice to let this go. But I feel once you broke free, once you broke free from this, it was game over. This energy never had a chance, as I said before, this was a losing battle to choose to go against you, try to affect you. Trying to break your peace was just a losing battle. Many of you are coming out as a mysterious one because you are Cutting the cord, letting something go, not being bothered by someone else's hate. And this is, was this definitely disturbing someone that you're not broken, not broken like they are. This energy is very sneaky. And I feel like in many ways, this is what's causing the delusion. This energy is caught in a space where they are not seeing the truth and not wanting to because they're so tied and bound to some type of false reality where I sense this false sense of self or this false reality that they have created is causing something to be a losing battle. For many of you, you have to cut the cord when it comes to this. It seems like this energy will never stop. It will always be a cycle of some type of mind games or abuse when it comes to someone who is completely foolish, not seeing something for what it is intentionally. This energy has a lot of fears when it comes to tradition, affairs of the heart. This is why they're never compromising because they believe what they're doing keeps them free. 
This energy has been very non-committal. You've been very compassionate. You've compromised with this energy, but now I sense there is no more second chances. Someone needs to get it right. Oh, there's a lot of grief here. This energy is definitely wearing a mask. This energy is wearing a mask in the hope that you are distracted by their broken promises. Yet I sense you're no longer giving in to the games. I feel like this energy has a lot of broken hearts, a lot of deceit, a lot of people who have to deal with their stone heart, their vicious ways. Because in so many ways, no one ever sees it coming. I feel you have to step into your own light when dealing with this energy who is completely lost. Lost at who they are and lost on who they should be. I feel like this has definitely taught you a lot. Not just about people, but about self because you're holding the divine blueprint here. I feel like you're holding the divine blueprint when it comes to family, building an empire. Wow, I feel like these harsh endings uprooted something when it comes to you. I feel like it also ignited something because you released something to heal. And that was unexpected. This is why someone is plotting, trying to affect you, trying to have some type of strategy. But as I said before, it was only a losing game. This energy was never supposed to defeat you in any way. I feel like this energy is plotting that things fall apart. Someone is wanting to leave some type of permanent mark on you. Someone wants you to be dealt a bad hand, but I feel you are divinely guided. And the Most High has definitely put you in their favor. I feel you are in favor here when it comes to this situation and even at life. You choosing to heal from this was the best choice because someone definitely didn't see your growth. They didn't see it coming. I also feel like unseen factors are about to get you to take aim at something else. Hmm. This is regarding something you are striving for, something that is meant to be, and it's not this. Someone wants you to be dealt a bad hand. Someone wants something to fall apart for you, but I feel you are in the most highest favor, and that was a losing battle from the beginning. I feel you are finding a new perspective, investing into a new journey. Something is definitely brewing when it comes to you, and something is brewing when it comes to them. I feel something is brewing when it comes to you, as you take aim as a new perspective, a new journey, a new way of living or thinking, divine truth, justice. So something is brewing when it comes to a divine truth. You're stepping into your power and gaining access to unconventional things in the 5D. Someone never expected you to grow in spite of their toxic ways or spiteful energy. I feel justice is at hand here. So I feel like this energy still lusts over you. This is a dark night energy where the wishing well has run dry. This energy is wanting to reach out to you, but they have no access. There's a lack of faith and they have no protection. I feel like this energy wants to condemn you or tarnish your outlook on a fairy tale or a dream. But as I said before, you hold the blueprint. You're investing into self and that was always meant to be. I feel there's a coldness when dealing with this energy because they don't want you to be hopeful. This energy definitely lost the opportunity to put you on a pedestal or have you in their life. And this is what's going to hurt them in the end because you're no longer trying to tame the beast. You're exhausted. I feel you're exhausted from trying to deal with someone who is always holding some type of agenda or a grudge towards you. But I feel it will only lead to regret. The same pain that they wanted for you is about to be <laughs> their reality. As I said before, you are investing in something different. This is why something had to end so that you could grow and build this empire. Focus on self and invest in what belongs to you. Someone didn't see your growth as an option. They didn't think that you had the strength to move on, but they never should have underestimated you. Yet I sense the most high is about to make an example out of them. Someone didn't see something coming. Someone knows that 
they should back off. I feel like they're getting all the signs to let something go, let you live, move on. But they're still being petty. This energy is still being petty, thinking that their harsh ways are going to affect you when it's only affecting them in the process. This is someone who thought that they knew enough about you to break you, leave you in pieces. But I sense when their absence only brought you peace and a new sense of self, they realized their mistakes and choices only made you better in the end. As the chaos they tried to create for you only became their reality, as it seems your lessons in life has already been paid in full. And no matter how they tried to flip this, the Most High was never going to bless this mess. Not at all. As I said before, it's just a losing battle when they're trying to annoy you or affect you. I feel you had to cut the cord to become better or be put in a better position. Even if you don't see it right now, I feel this ending had to happen. This energy was never going to understand how bliss they were to have you. <sighs> They're coming out as a fallen angel. Someone who should have been more, did more, but they chose to take a more cowardly route. And this is exactly why they didn't see this coming. I feel like many of you had to cut the cord to focus on your stability, a family tree, or a new perspective. This is going to bring in a breakthrough. This is why someone is going to have to grieve over you. Grieve over the loss of this situation because you're attending to the old wounds. You're healing. You're releasing. And someone is just going to have to be the fool. This is someone who is not protected spiritually. And this is why they were doomed to fail. I feel like this energy is sitting in a space of thinking that they couldn't be phased because they're sitting in a space of narcissistic ways, body snatcher energy, where someone is still living in the past. I feel you're about to step into good karma hmm. while someone is experiencing the worst of it. I feel you had to choose this path, a new path. Putting a stop to someone's hate. This is divine intervention. Someone is wanting you to not win, but I feel that is your destiny. As I said before, this energy was never meant to lose. Well, they were never meant to win. It was always a losing battle to try to affect you or hurt you. I feel like this energy is a sellout. They sold their soul for something senseless. This energy is coming out as a spiritual bully. Someone who is now receiving the karma they deserve. I feel like this energy is sitting in a space of void. This is why they can't get over you or you're clearly on their mind 24-7. This is the only reason they're trying to affect you. Someone's trying not to think of you, but they're wanting to affect you emotionally to put you in the same position as them. But I feel this energy has been spiritually stripped of their gifts, access, because of their bad intentions. I feel like this energy has bad intentions and they're breaking all the spiritual laws to do it. Even so, this energy is cursing their own bloodline, cursing their next life with this spiritual war, this battle. I feel it's a battle of the wits when dealing with this energy who's trying to cause some type of psychological warfare for you, but it's a hollow victory because it's not gonna happen. I feel like this energy has sacrificed a lot to hurt you or try to put you in your place. This energy is coming out as a spiritual hitman who is now going through a lot because of it. This energy is going through a lot financially. Spiritual jail here for someone who is a shapeshifter. Um, but I feel the spirits are monitoring this situation. The Most High always has their eye on you. Defending you. Wow. I feel like someone is definitely about to reap what they have sown. I feel whatever's coming their way is inevitable. I feel this energy never saw your strength for being a hindrance for what they're trying to do. But I feel in so many ways no one thought you were so protected. 
I feel this energy is about to reap what they have sown within a situation. As I said before, the Most High was never going to bless this mess. And they're about to see that for what it is. Because everything that they have sent your way has been returned to sender. In fact, I feel your ancestors are applying pressure in this situation. Defending you. While guarding you. Supporting you while this energy is trying to affect you. Nothing penetrates this. I feel your ancestors are not playing when it comes to you and someone's about to find that out. I feel this is karmic justice. Whether, whatever they are going through and what they're about to go through is definitely pressure from your guides, your ancestors, who are defending you in every way. I feel this energy is coming out as a shapeshifter or someone who's about to reap karmic justice for selling their soul, placing hate on others. I feel this energy has a lot of karmic ties as well. So I feel like whatever they're about to step into is faded. You are divinely protected and you are chosen. This is why there is no access when it comes to you. I feel like this energy has no access even to the spiritual realm. This energy is unprotected and they are about to hit a dead zone. I feel like you are leveling up regardless. Because one thing is for sure. What they tried to take from you or take you through would have destroyed them and they know it. Yet I sense in many ways they're getting exactly what they dished out, if not more. As I said before, you are spiritually protected, divinely guided, and your ancestors are applying pressure in the right places when it comes to energies, mental state, their finances, and the fact that they have no access to you. As it seems, it may be reaping season for those who hurt others who only had intentions to love, not hate. It's just sad they had to learn this the hard way. I feel you are being watched. Hmm. I feel this energy is going through a lot of struggle and sacrifice. This is why they can't get over the fact that you are moving on or you have leveled up energetically, mentally, socially, financially. Whatever this is, you are chosen, and it belongs to you. I feel like this energy never saw it coming. <sighs> but I feel this energy is about to regret every choice they've made against you. So I sense you should continue to protect and understand what truly feeds your soul as well as your purpose. As the enemy is always trying to figure out ways to discourage and provoke a chosen one.